Hello. I'm Burr studying game development with you guys. This time, let's take a look at the editor layout of Unreal Engine 5. First of all, when you launch Unreal Engine 5, the screen will look like this. Let's explain each part one by one. At the top of the menu are File, Edit, Window, etc. This is where you can access various commands and functions of the Unreal Editor. This menu bar is displayed differently for each editor with the content that matches the editor you are viewing. As a simple example, in the menu bar in the level editor, which is executed by default, menus such as window, tool, and build are visible in addition to file and edit, but in the blueprint editor, menus such as asset, view, and debug are visible. The second area is the main toolbar. This main toolbar is a collection of frequently used features in Unreal Engine, which are subdivided according to the features they provide. First, the front floppy disk shape button is used to save changes to the currently open level. And the drop down menu next to it lets you switch between the different modes you can use when editing the content inside your level. Content shortcuts include a create shortcut to quickly add common assets to your level, a blueprints shortcut to create and access blueprints, and a cinematics shortcut to create a level sequence or master sequence cinematic. The play mode controller then provides features such as play or pause to test the game in the editor. Then, in the platform menu, you can select the desired platform and package it for distribution. This packaging work is not an editor, but an actual executable file, which you will do after you finish the game. Of course, even before the game is completely finished, there will be cases where you do some packaging work to make sure it works in a non-editor environment. Finally, there is a settings button at the end of the main toolbar. This button allows you to configure various settings for the Unreal Editor or Level Editor viewports and game behavior. The third area is the Level Viewport. The Level Viewport allows us to see the world in the game, the level, and move around or place the actors we need where we want them. By default, you are free to move around on this rendered screen, but you can also change the way it looks via the Viewport Settings button in the top left of the viewport, or change to an orthographic view to place the actor in the correct position. And when you enter Play Mode for testing, you can see the Play screen through this viewport. The fourth area is the Content Drawer button. Click this button to open the content drawer panel. Here you can find, select, and work with the assets contained within your project. If you want to use the content drawer by fixing it at the bottom like in Unreal Engine 4, click the pin to layout button at the right end, and it will change to the content browser and be fixed. And next to the content drawer button is the lower toolbar area, which contains various functions, such as an output log where you can see logs that occur during the game, and a command console where you can control engine functions with various commands. These related functions are at least intermediate and above, so we will learn more about Unreal Engine later. The next area is the Outliner. In this Outliner, you can see all the content currently placed in the level in a hierarchical tree format. Now in this narrow level you can see immediately which actors are placed where, but as the level widens and there are more placed actors it becomes difficult to quickly find the actors you want by flying directly in the level viewport. In that case, you can quickly find the actor you are looking for in this outliner. The last part is the details panel. When you select an actor in the level, detailed information about the selected actor will appear in this details panel. Various properties are displayed along with the transform containing information such as the location, rotation, and size of the actor, and different properties are displayed depending on the type of actor. For example, an actor with a visible shape in the scene will have properties such as static meshes, materials, and physics settings displayed. Actors used to light the scene display properties related to light or shadows, such as light, light mass, and light shaft. The basic layout of the editor is as I just described, but you can move each panel by dragging it to the desired location. 
and you can also add and place desired panels from the window menu on the top menu bar. The changed layout can be saved by selecting Window Save Layout Save Layout as from the top menu bar. Other features include the ability to use familiar Unreal Engine for layouts or reset layouts you have changed. This time, we learned about the basic editor layout of Unreal Engine 5. This video was produced with the donate and watching of the viewers. It was Verse Game Development YouTube. Thank you.